This is Gigantoraptor, the giant thief. Gigantoraptor was a giant theropod about the size of an Albertosaurus. Its beak and other evidence make it highly likely that Gigantoraptor was an omnivore, which is unique among large dinosaurs. Hello everybody, this is Gigantoraptor made by Archetypes. It kind of came out of nowhere, but I saw it and I was like, I really want to cover this because it looks really awesome. And we haven't had one in game yet. So right now we're going to go through the subspecies right quick. This is our default plus 5% run speed. Then we have plus 50% acceleration, which <laughs> less feathers, more naked tail here, smaller beak. Next we have plus 10% stamina recovery where we have the bigger beak here and these long feathers in the top as well as longer feathers on the tail and then we're back to our default let's check out the female skin right quick it looks like it's just a darker blue on the neck here not much else different let's go through the calls right quick first up we have broadcasts <laughs> That's a very interesting sound. I like it, but it's very interesting. It's not what I expected. Two call. That one's good. I like that one a lot. Threaten. Mm, I feel like they could have done a little bit more with the arms, maybe bigger and wider instead of the small flap. But other than that, the sound is good. Four call. <laughs> it's kind of like a, a weird backwards spit noise, if that makes sense. Talk. Ooh, I like that. A nice deep rumble. Mystery? Oh, it was like a jump, I think. Look around. He's like, mm, you guys are kind of sketchy. Uh, stretch? Mm, I have another stretch? Yeah, it's kind of like yoga motions or something. And then our invite is the same as our two call. All right, and here's our baby model. It's super cute. You know, look at that neck. It's still very wrinkly and everything, but it does kind of just look like a shrunken down adult for the most part, but it's still pretty cute. Uh, let's go through the calls right quick. First up, we have broadcast. Oh my God, it's just a mouse. A mouse in a bird's body. Two call. Ooh, that one's nice. Threaten. The hiss is very good. Four call. <laughs> Talk. Oh my gosh, it's like a balloon when you let out the air. That's exactly what it sounds like. Mystery. Which is our little jump. Look around. Mm-hmm. Kind of curious. Stretch one. There we go. And stretch two. And then our invite is the same as our two call. All right. Let's see some of our baby animations here. It's our walk. Very slow. Has that nice little bounce trot to it. Run. Oh, it feels a bit more hoppy than an actual run. It's pretty slow, actually. Like, you're barely going any faster. Let's see if we have a jump. We do. Very nice. It's pretty high. All right, guys, here's our adult. He's actually massive. Like when I grew my dino, just the difference was huge. But I think it looks really good. Like the model itself is fantastic. The feathers is really, really nice. The wrinkles on the neck. But let's go through our animations right quick. There's our walk. Just as slow as the baby, really. And it has that little bounce to it. Ooh, look at the feet. It looks really nice. See a run. Yeah, again, not very fast. I would like it to be a little bit faster. Especially considering how big it is. Our turn radius is not that bad though at all. Let's see if we have a jump as an adult. No jump. Let's take a seat. Okay, very proper. Love it. Sleep. A yawn. Curl up the tail and we just kind of tuck the head in. Very nice, very swan-like, I like it. Especially the little feathers at the top of the head. It just looks really perfect. Get up. Reverse yawn. I'm using those thighs to get up. Let's check our turn radius right quick. Here's our turn in place. Kinda slow. You can definitely tail ride from this, it looks like. 
to the left that's not bad to the right back that's not bad either back and turn that one's actually a bit faster it feels like than turning in place a little bit All right here's our drink animation basically just squatting taking nice little sips here's our swim animation he's trying really hard but not moving very much at all speed swim not any faster at all it's really atrocious I might drown before i get to the other side <laughs> right, here's our eating animation pretty nice just kind of like a pecking gathering crunching noise pretty standard stuff all right let's go through these skins right quick this is our male default skin then we have tropical red tail warrior cement safari horus grain gobbler courier drumbeat melanistic and albino gobbler is kind of funny this one because it's supposed to be representative of turkey it's kind of perfect let's check out the abilities right quick we have one head slot we have bite causes medium damage nutcracker charge up the attack and inflict damage based on how long it's held peck a quick attack that increases in power with each successful hit razor bite causes low damage and moderate bleed interesting i almost want two slots senses we have glare reduces stamina regen and increases sprinting cost for carnivores within 20 meters by 10 percent that's nice personal space gain four percent attack damage for every second a carnivore stays within six meters of you up to 20 percent that's nice wary gain 20 percent stamina regen when a carnivore is within 50 meters these are really good. I like this. It's very unique. Front limb. We have borrowed time. Gain a 15% speed buff at the start of combat for 30 seconds, followed by a 5% speed debuff for 15 seconds. Pretty good if you want to get away, I think. Second wind. Instantly regenerate a chunk of stamina and gain a 20% speed buff for 16 seconds at 20% health. Has a 2 minute cooldown between activations. Unflappable. Take 30% less knockback and 20% increased bone break healing. I love that name. Unflappable. It's cute. Metabolism. Able to eat berries and fruit. Moderate food drain. Trail mix. Able to eat nuts, fruit, and roots. Faster food drain. Bin chicken. Able to eat bones, shellfish, and fruit faster food drain i love whoever came up with the names for these abilities they're just on point be in marketing or something for hide we have dense feathers increases bleed healing by 40 percent lightweight feathers increases speed by five but decreases turn radiance by 15. Mm. efficient thermal regulation increases stamina regen by 10 percent which is pretty good Slick feathers, bucking, and struggling will now drain enemy stamina 30% faster. For legs, we have gripping claws, gain 5% increased turning. Long distance runner reduces running stamina drain by 15%. Sharpened talons increases bleed damage by 15%. Strong legs take 40% less knockback and 15% increased bone break healing. Very good. You have a lot of different build options with Gigantoraptor. Back limb. Jump kick, a reckless high damage attack, which means it probably has a long cooldown. Flail, drop to the ground and flail, removing and damaging latch creatures. Ooh, pretty good for pouncers. Leap increases jump height and decreases fall damage. Scratch a kick attack that causes moderate damage and bleed. Pretty good. Stomp a high damage attack locks you in place when used. Tail. We have bushy tail damage and status effects afflicted to your tail is dra dramatically reduced. Tail attack causes knockback and then balance which we get 5% increased turning. All right let's go through our ability animations. First up we have bite. Pretty quick low cooldown and that does medium damage next we have nutcracker it's a wind up lifting all the way back and it's a really long peck next we have peck which is basically like suko's um barrage claws where it gains more power with each hit that lands and finally we have razor bite which does low damage but high bleed has a pretty low cooldown though, so I would definitely use that if you want to do a bleed based build. Next we have jump kick. Whoa, that was awesome. I love that animation. That was so cool, but it's pretty reckless, but it does high damage if it lands and it probably has a pretty decent cooldown. One more time, jump kick. That's so cool. After that we have flail. 
this is basically going to knock anybody who's pouncing you right off it's going to be super useful because you know bouncers are a problem next we have scratch you have to be running to use this so and it's kind of like a forward jump kick one more time scratch oh yeah like a forward flailing front kick after that we have stomp it's pretty good it's not super long but it's also got the decent range and lastly we have tail attack no voice abilities but i don't think you really need it based off what we've seen so far all right so my opinion on gigantoraptor is it is super cool lots of cool animations very decent sounds decent skins your swim speed is atrocious do not swim with this guy you have decent stamina it's not super good but it's not super bad either about as much as like aloes i think it's very versatile and you can make a lot of different builds with giganotoraptor so definitely be trying different things out because you might find a bunch of really really cool combos but yeah guys that's about it for gigantoraptor here if you like this video make sure to try out my other videos i cover a lot of different mods and other games that you might not have heard of but again thank you so much for watching and thank you for subscribing and i will see you in the next video